Hey fellow investors, this is Charlie Kim Guru Focus again. Today I want to introduce Shader PE. Shader PE is considered a better measure of overall market valuation than the regular PE, and it was created by Professor Robert Shader of Yale University. And how does it work? And you can find it here. Shader PE is under Guru Focus Market Manual. And here, Schiller PE. So if I bring up, and uh, you can see this Schiller PE page. This page is updated during the market hours once every 10 minutes. So you basically are always getting close to the real time data, which is more important as a, at a time like this because market is changing so quickly. And the data is from 1980. To current, so it's more than 140 years. As of today, Schiller P is sitting at 23.5, which is still 37.9 percent higher than the historical mean of 17. And uh, so, how does Schiller P work? Schiller P, uh, the way of calculating it is. We use the annual earnings of the SP500 companies of over the past 10 years, then adjust the past earnings of the, for inflation using CPI, and past earnings are adjusted to today's dollars, and average the last 10 years together, get to a, a normalized earnings for the last 10 years. Then we use SP500 index price divide the normalized earnings and to get a Schiller PE. So uh, the idea of doing this is to smooth out the recession periods where the earnings can be low and profit margin can be low. Uh, so in this way, you can get a better indication of the market valuation. So here we see the Schiller PE it was the highest during the peak of tech bubble in year 1999 and year 1999. And uh, it was also a big peak before the Great Depression in 1929. Uh, compare Schiller P with a regular P. If you look at the regular P, the peak was at the year 2009. Uh, why is that? Because during the Great Recession, the year 2008 and 2009, the earnings de declined sharply. So that's why the P ratio was high, the regular P was high. So if you just look at the regular PE, it does not give you the real picture of the market valuation. You know, the market was down uh, almost more than 60% from the peak, previous peak, and uh, but the PE ratio was high. If we look at today, the regular PE ratio, and it is about 17.5, it tells you the market is probably uh, fair valued, but the Schiller PE tells you it is 23.5. And I believe that Shiller P is a better indication of the overall market valuation in this case. So Shiller P can also be used to project future market returns. If we assume in next few years uh, the Shiller P ratio will revert to the mean and uh, we can estimate how much return we can get. In that way, if we reverse to the mean, the average gain, the projected average annual gain is about 7, 1.7%. This is similar to what we got from the Buffy indicator I introduced last time here. It's Buffy indicator. And uh, of course, if we're really lucky, after eight years, the market will be very high. We can get higher returns, 6.7%. This number is also similar to what we got from Buffy indicator. Shader P can not only be applied to uh, the overall market, it can also be applied to a particular sector, and it can also be used to calculate the, for each individual stocks. And uh, for individual stocks, it is Schiller P will give you a better idea, especially for the companies that are more cyclical. And thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, please leave it in the comment area and I will answer your questions as soon as possible. See you next time.